So I'm calling this kind of my futuristic bullpup style, bullpup design, Scar V2. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember which seller this Scar came from, uh, but definitely did some crazy stuff to it right here, right? I found a bullpup kit for an airsoft blaster uh, or an airsoft gun. However, of course, it wouldn't work out because um, the motor for our gearbox is in the handle and in the airsoft, that's not the case. So you can kind of eliminate that altogether. Couldn't do that here. So instead kind of figured out some different things, wanted it to kind of have these metal kind of, they're supposed to kind of look like metal panels. I'll show you that up close. Obviously we got the trigger out here and you can kind of see how the trigger works. So really there's just a piece that extends back and you just push that in. Right, and then it's gonna, and I added some springs so it jumps back like it should. So I thought it was a pretty cool build. It was definitely uh, time consuming, a lot of printing little pieces to fill in areas to customize because again, what I had to start with really was not adequate. But since I had already printed some pieces and kind of got it going on it, I really wanted to finish it. So wanted to have a futuristic look, like I said, went with a very short kind of more of a futuristic flash hider on here. The tip of the inner barrel ends right here at the end of it. Um, other than that, we got the full rail riser. That was something I had previously from a project that didn't work out, but it's the full length of the scar. So that was, cause it was intended for a scar. So that works out there. We've got your mag release here. So, cause obviously you still need to be able to uh, access your mag release. So when I made these, I you know, made that area right there for your mag release. And then this stock was a stock I had printed previously, and I just thought it looked good for this type of a blaster. Kind of has a, again, a little bit of a future look. We got the different um, patterns on it. But you can see like there, the, the kind of paneling style that's on here. And if we flip it around, kind of the same thing going on here. And you can see how I've got springs, right? So the springs. Just make sure that that trigger jumps back because really this is just moving this whole assembly that is pushing the trigger. So it wasn't like a rewiring a whole new trigger. So you're gonna kind of just hold it like this. And I don't know, I thought it turned out pretty good. I think I said definitely took a lot of custom parts and thank goodness I have a fast printer now because I had to print, you know, just like you'd start like, oh, I want to print a little panel here. I want to do these L brackets here to add support and to cover those seams because everything had gone together perfect. And then, of course, once you paint it and you start putting it back together, things don't fit. You got to go print something quick and then it all ends up working out. So my futuristic scar bullpup, I guess is what we'll call it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. We'll shoot it. Hopefully I'm still getting good performance. I mean, I didn't really mess with any of the internals at all. So, you know, it should still be at least at that like 230 FPS range. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comments, questions, post them below. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends and participate in the monthly giveaways. Thanks.